three days of fasting is three days of struggle, of willpower to succeed. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to go hard. Welcome back champions. What's up guys? Today, we got the ultimate challenge, a three day fast. We're gonna start off by hitting the gym. Who says you can't make gains while fasting? We're gonna do arm day, the best day ever. <laughs> Let's go, I'm actually really excited. I've done a three day fast before, only once in my life. But I love fasting. I love intermittent fasting. I do 24 hour fast like every week. The three day is that next crazy level that we're gonna go to. Let's start it off, man. I'm already been drinking my water. I'm hydrated. It's actually like kind of cold today, but we're gonna try to work out outside, get some light, you know what I mean? We're just gonna run it. Let's get into it, man. We're starting off with shoulders. those fat stores. Our body has no food, no calories, no nothing to go off of. So we're going off straight body fat. Obviously you gotta be fast for a while. Buffalo Bayou Park in Houston. And Houston is one of the best places to walk. Everyone comes out here. It's literally so packed right now, it's hard to get parking. Aside from losing weight, losing that body fat, number two is that toxic. We're killing all those dead cells, toxins, stuff like that. And you could argue about the controversial how good fasting is with all this, but I feel good after I do it and I feel focused while I do it. That mental clarity during my fast is crazy. That's why I like intermittent fasting, doing these 24 hour fasts, and every once in a while, really challenging myself with this. Yeah, man, we had a workout today, got some cardio in right now, got some nature. Now we're about to hit that massage. Let's go get a Thai massage. It is cheap as a massage in Thailand. A massage in Thailand runs me 15 bucks. Over here, we're paying 10X, bro, so. Let's see how good this Thai massage is in Houston, Texas. This place is booked out. We had to go the whole next day. So it's officially been 25 hours. It's 9 p.m. on the first day of our fast. So yesterday, we stopped eating right about 8 p.m. Watch that last video, because that was at the end of our sushi video. And man, was that thing crazy. The hardest part is actually yet to come tonight when we sleep. Cause sleeping, starving is definitely hard. I think a bonus that you get from fasting is that mental toughness, that mental fatigue that you just kind of got to get through. You know what I mean? When you first start fasting, doing just intermittent fasting is actually really hard. I remember when I first started doing intermittent fasting while I was trying to lose weight in a calorie deficit, it was crazy hard. I mean, I was like 20 years old, never done a diet or anything crazy in my life and it was crazy hard. Eventually got easy. And then I started doing the 24 hour fast, stuff like that, and now I gotta do stuff like this. But that mental toughness is good. I like fixing like my hunger hormones and basically like resetting that ghrelin, getting those hunger hormones in check. Cause after I'm done doing a three day fast, for the next two months, three months, I'm feeling like I eat way better. 
I get full a little faster. Part of that maybe just the stomach shrink a little bit, but I definitely regulate my food a lot better. Once you get to that third day, surviving the third day isn't too bad, I always feel. I actually always feel really good, really focused, not hungry anymore because my stomach just got used to it, but I feel like tomorrow will definitely be the hardest. Right now, I feel like you're definitely like a little, like your mind's definitely feeling a little faded per se. Not like drunk or high, but definitely you feel a little wiggly, if that makes sense. And a little bit on edge, a little bit alert. And I think that's, there's some bro science right here, right? But I think that's because back in the day, right? Back when we were cavemen, pillaging places, doing all this crazy stuff, we didn't have food 24 seven. We didn't have Uber Eats. We were, we didn't even know how to make fire, so. I think that keeps you alert because your body needs to go hunt for some food. We need to go kill, gather, all that, all that good stuff. I think that's like your body's natural, you know, ability. And it goes on to the fat store, so it doesn't need the food for three days, you know what I mean? After the first day, I feel great, you know? It's just tonight when I go to sleep, I know I'm gonna feel like crap. <laughs> we'll update y'all tomorrow. Uh, but right now, definitely hungry. Hungry and a little bit wiggly, I feel like. And definitely a little focused. Like I could go watch something like UFC fights, a movie, something like that for two hours straight, just be in the zone, no phone, no distraction, no scrolling. I think that's about it on how I feel. I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna have a lot more stuff to talk about, but today is not too bad, 25 hours in. I just got like one of the best massages of my life. That was well worth the money. They even gave us like water. I feel great. We're getting beautiful sunlight. We're about to just go walk around the city, go shopping. Cause when you're fasting, if you're just keeping busy, if you're just doing a bunch of stuff, you can't get hungry, you know? Cause you're just doing stuff all day, man. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to go do stuff. So we just made it. It's nice, it's sunny. We get some cardio. One reason why I like massages, man, it's good recovery. And one thing about fasting, it does promote inflammation is what they say. So we're doing double healing, bro. Two times the healing, double X. Another good thing about starving yourself like this and not eating is we're also getting digestive health, bro. So your digestive health is thanking you right now because we're going three days without eating. It's time for it to relax, recover. Like it? Yeah, I feel like it. I feel like I'm in Cali. I act like I'm in Cali. I'm, I'm vibing like I'm Cali. Everything's Cali right now. So it's officially it's 5:30 on day two. So it's a basically 45 hours in. And man, this is when it sucks. The first day honestly isn't too bad, right? 24 hours, not too crazy. Going to sleep was like a little bit tough. Waking up wasn't even bad today, but once you get to like the middle of the day today, when your body wants lunch and dinner, that's when it gets crazy. Apparently we're promoting longevity in our bodies, so yeah, hopefully I live forever at this point for doing so much fast. Definitely today I feel not dizzy, not even lightheaded. Definitely a little bit of stomach pain, obviously. Definitely more irritable, more mad, more snappy. You know, I'm ready to like touch a camera, bro. Like, <laughs> it's definitely harder today. I think tomorrow morning, it's, I'm gonna have the same thing as today. Waking up isn't too bad, but getting through the rest of the day, that's when it gets harder. So yeah, we should get through today and then tomorrow, I feel like we're gonna breeze through it. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We made it to day three. I'm starving. Yesterday was a challenge, but today we're about to finish strong. We're about to hit flexibility, strength, and endurance at this yoga class. And it is officially, it's 120. So we're almost there. We just got a few hours left. 
and then we're gonna break our fast. All morning today, man, we've been working, chugging water. My stomach is feeling flat, man. At the start of this fast, I was like eight pounds heavier, bloated, but yeah, it's, it's a good feeling, man. Good feeling to be on day three. Come on, let's go. It's the evening time and day three. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to go hard. This is gonna be a big challenge. If you've never fasted before, definitely ease into fasting. Do an intermittent fasting, do a 24 hour fast, and then work your way up to this. Cause this is something in life I think everyone needs to do. Challenge themselves, push themselves, and at least try it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like working out. Some people hate on working out, but they've never actually done it. They never committed for a year, two years. This is definitely something I recommend everyone do. We're gonna ease into it the right way. We're not gonna eat a full meal. We're not gonna break our fast eating a big meal right away. We're gonna ease into it. We're gonna let our stomach get used to it. First, we're not even eating. We're drinking some broth. So I recommend some bone broth, some vegetable broth. I'm doing chicken broth today because that's all I had. After that, step number two, I recommend eating something fermented, like a veggie, something light. Here we got like apples and radish. Some Korean stuff. My grandma's Korean, man. I'm Korean, man. You know what I mean? After the fermented stuff, then we're gonna start eating some, a little bit of actual food. We're gonna do nuts. For me, we hit up the old Heb and got some salted cashews my favorite then we're gonna wait a little bit we're not gonna eat i'm gonna wait like another hour or two and then i'm gonna go eat and i'll take y'all with me we're gonna go probably try some laos food i've actually don't think i ever had laos food in my life so it's a special treat we're gonna try some new food man that's how we're gonna end it don't forget that like button comment after you try it too and subscribe, man. We're gonna do a bunch more crazy challenges. A lot of them will be fitness related, food related. I'm not one of those guys that just has a boring life and just does the fitness stuff. I think I have the best life in the world because I do all the best stuff related to food, travel, family, and just doing the craziest stuff in my life, man. It's gonna be a crazy one next video too. What's in the bag? Stupid eyes. In there. 